Now, repent of what is the question. You know, my mother he tells a story about Billy Graham in his younger days. He would say, what must you do to be saved? Nothing. Well, eventually he changed his tune and said, well, you do need to repent. But it's a little too late to do the right thing now, you know, once you've sent that message out to millions of people. But, you know, when we talk about coming down to the altar, you know, uh, 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 you know, basically it's a remorse for wrongdoing, you know. But if you were to ask, what were you doing that the Bible defines as sin? Most people cannot give you the answer to that question. They wouldn't know what they're doing that the Bible defines as sin. Now, I'm going to tell you the biblical definition of sin here in just a minute. But let's face reality. Can people actually worship the Lord, acknowledge that he is Lord, and, not, and yet not enter into the kingdom? Okay, is that possible? Matthew 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Now, it's about doing, you see. It's not just about accepting, you know. Now, now why? Why don't they enter into the kingdom? Because they don't have any repentance. They have not repented is the reason. You know, many people feel they have received salvation, but in reality, they have failed to take even the first step. Now, how is this possible? Well, it's possible because people are led to believe that all I got to do is just believe in Jesus, which basically means acknowledge that he exists. And there's nothing they must do. There, there is no repentance, you know. And, and look, most people don't want to do anything anyway. You know, if, if, if I got up here and told everybody there's nothing you must do, just believe, just accept, just invite Jesus into your heart, you know, I could make millions of dollars. I could build a mega church teaching that nonsense. But... I'm about telling you the truth, whether you like it or not, okay? And what I'm saying is you need to repent. That's what I'm saying. Quit playing church and repent. 1 John 2 and verse 4, He that says, I know him, and keeps not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So what do we need to repent of? Well, we need to repent of sin. What is sin? If you did a survey and asked a thousand religious people, probably not one could tell you the definition. 1 John 3, 4, whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. The law is the Ten Commandments, okay? That's what you are to repent of, of breaking of, the Ten Commandments, including the Fourth Commandment, all right? When we talk about the law of God, there's a problem. Mankind has a carnal mind. Now, What's wrong with a carnal mind? It's the way we come into the world with a carnal mind. It's an anti-law mind. It, resent, it, res, it, re, it resents and rejects the law of God. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. It is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. That's the kind of mind that we have that we come into the world with. So when we go down into the waters of baptism... And we take this carnal anti-law mind and we bring it to real repentance. But that is a work of the Holy Spirit. We have to admit that our own hostility toward the law of God. I don't really want to do this, Lord. I know you say it's right, but I don't want to do it. We have to admit that and then repent, go down into the waters of baptism, and the spirit that you receive at baptism changes all that. It changes this, you know, this mind, this carnal mind that we have. Now,